Today I think we have a special story. The coronavirus epidemic was very demanding of providers, all providers, physicians, nurses, allied health. Uh, we don't always recognize or pay attention to when we're having uh, symptoms that indicate that we should uh, obtain medical care because we're too focused on caring for everybody else. Dr. Ahmed called me about two, three days prior to the event telling me that he had headaches and he needed someone to cover his ships. So I, I'm a physician currently working with the AFC Urgent Care East Meadow. Prior to about a week, I'll say week, I thought that I have just simple headache, maybe from common cold or from COVID infection or stress because we were handling almost three times more patient than our usual. I, I took, you know, pain medication, Tylenol, cold medicine, but it was increasing. I knew that he was a little overworked um, due to the fact that it's COVID-19 and we're doing about 90 to 100 patients of screening a day. He wasn't walking properly. He's a very sociable man. Uh, and he used to like to talk to his colleagues and his staff. But at that point, he just sat in his room the whole day. He would go and see patients, but he would just go back to the room. So I told him, you need to get a CAT scan. He texted me back, actually, and said, yes. I called him up and said, uh, so what did they see? Did they see anything? And he completely forgot to go to the CAT scan. He started mumbling to me and then hung up the phone. At that point, I said, I'm going to go and talk to a, a really good friend of mine. I called up Dr. Malawala, told him what had transpired, and he told me to send him to St. Francis. I got a call while I was working an ER shift from Dr. Marawala, who told me that one of our physician colleagues at an urgent care center, Dr. Ahmed, uh, was just not quite acting right. And he was concerned, thought he needed a head CT. We discussed the timing, and our biggest concern was, you know, gee, maybe he had bleeding in the brain, which would be really a critical neurosurgical emergency. We were ready. You know, we're a 24-7 neurosurgical capable center. As soon as Dr. Ahmed came in, I saw him, and immediately it was very obvious that something was wrong. He was awake, he was talking, but he was definitely out of it. You could tell the moment you met him that there was something distant about him. He was having trouble finding his words. And then when I examined his arms and legs, he was clearly weak on one side, which is what we call a localizing neurological symptom. And being weaker on one side is always of concern when it comes to anything brain. So we activated our code stroke protocol, which is the protocol we use for any potential brain emergency. Uh, rushed him to the CAT scanner. I joined him in the CT scanner, and as the images were coming up, exactly what we'd feared most was there. It was an enormous, enormous brain bleed. Um, I was on the phone with Dr. Marawala, who was on his way in. We got on the phone uh, with the surgical teams, and within 20 minutes of Dr. Ahmed's having come to the emergency department, he was in the operating room. I was able to communicate with Dr. Mulbauer the clinical situation and understood what was going on. It was already almost too late. The herniation syndrome where the blood mass presses on the brain was already well progressed. So we knew immediately that there was no time to waste because these patients can go from looking pretty well to becoming comatose in a matter of minutes. And the staff was ready, they were prepared, uh, there, was, there was no pause whatsoever. They acted so professionally and we got them onto the table and we started our operation uh, from the time of his arrival to the emergency room to the operating room to skin cut was only about 20 minutes, which is truly remarkable. To achieve that at St. Francis Hospital uh, is really something we should all be very, very proud of uh, and made the difference between life and death for this patient who happens to be one of our colleagues. And to know that all he wanted to do coming out of the operating room was to get back to work really made us all feel that much better. It's, it's a feel-good moment. <laughs>